Okay, Ron, this is very, I just want to show you this um, device. This is the um, flip up uh, light shield. You can see it passes through and it's got a hinge on it. And this part right here goes into the spot here. This thing comes apart by holding it halfway open like this. You see there's a little tab right here. You can slide this out like this, it's a pin. See that? It's got an L shape to it. And then take this off, it comes to separate. This part goes on the scope like this. You just press fit it on. Try not to push too hard in the corners because it's the most fragile area, if there is a fragile area. But you can just kind of move it in position. And then you take the hook here. You see that hook looks like? It's like a J hook. The hook sound like this. See that? Then you swing it up and then it's indexed. You'll see there's a little thing and you can slide it in here like this, a pin, a square pin. Slides in. There you go. Now, when the scope goes closed, like automatically shuts down, it will swing all the way. What I mean by that is watch this. Shutting down. <clears throat> And on the side here is a slot for where the tab comes up for the solar filter. Watch this, it's pretty sweet. It might make a noise, not always. It really depends on sometimes on how it's fitted at the top here, like squared up, or if it's on tight. But don't worry about any noise. Because that's just a, a stepper gear. It's not hurting anything. But what you can do is you can lift it up like this, reach underneath, and there's a slide on it, and you pull that pin out again. Then you can take and unhook it and store away this separate. Now I want to show you how to put the solar filter in. Solar filter goes in like this. There's a tool here that I'm going to include. It's two parts. One is for one side, like this. And the other one is for the back side. Push the filter out like this. So you take the filter, the orange filter, and you find on the, the dew shield, uh, slash light shield, you'll see there's a slot. You just slot it in there, put it in, kind of like scooping ice cream. Then take the big side of the thing, put it on there gently, and push with two fingers and snap it in. Now the filter's in. The tab is sticking out, and you see the light shield. Then I can come down here, I'll show you. I can hook it on, and I can wait to turn it on. Make connection here. But this tool is for pushing the filter out too. I'll show you real quick how that works. Pop it out, I'll go wide angle again and you turn it over on this side, and you do a reset button, like the Putin reset button. On. There you go, connect. it pops it out. And here's the filter, whoa. Okay, it's powering up now. I'm gonna put it back in. So to put the filter back in, the holder, tip this down a little bit so you can see it better. There you go. Take the filter. Take the slot, line it up, put it in there, big side, push in, take it out, put it on the other side, push down, comes out. Again, big side. Oop. Find the slot, slide it in, big side, put it on. Okay, looking at the C star, you see here that's it's offset just a little bit. So I'm going to slide it over. I'll wait till it gets open. There you go. Uh, open it up. Connecting. And this is what the pin looks like. I showed you before, but it's L shaped. Let me get in here a little bit closer. Wink. And there it is. Sorry for my dirty fingers. But see the L shape there? It goes in a specific way. I'm going to open up the C star now.
Teeth really connect sometimes. Mm. Okay, I'm going back to wide angle. Okay, here we go. Opening up the scope. The buttons on the touch panel on the new app where you can open it up by the front page are real small. It's hard to keep your finger on the tab. Okay, there we go. A little bit higher. Okay, just line up your the unit, make sure it's tight in there. Square. Put it on. Swing it up. There's only one way to put this in. Slide it in the little channel. Kind of like taking a pin out of a hinge on a door. There, it's got a little tab you can slide it back for. There you go. Make sure it's centered up. You drop it down. Now, when the eclipse happens, eclipse, total eclipse, just grab your little thing here and just flip it up out of the way. And then when it's time to put it back, you just flip it back down. So this can act as a solar holder, a filter holder if you make and it can be also used as a everyday um, or every night um, dew shield slash light block. I think it looks good. What do you think? Okay.